what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today i am bringing you the month of june's monster bass box just got this in the mail yesterday um let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open we'll make this a quick video uh if nobody knows what monster bass it is it's a subscription based box based on your region of where you live uh you're gonna get quality baits in here they're gonna be used for the time of season for where you live i'll put a code down below if you're interested you get 15 bucks off your first box let's get this bad boy cracked open and you can see there you can follow them on instagram that gives them all their core values and the website you can find it right there all right so let's crack this bad boy open so you can learn from the pros monsterbass.com blog um got all the baits in there so i'm gonna put this stuff to the side we'll get the card out here is the card that you get it's got uh morgan wilson who just caught her pb seven pounds eight ounces you can follow her on instagram if you're interested I'll put that information right there uh, this is gonna monster bass help if you have any questions about your boxes and next month's box is being taken over by the Lunker Hunt, which is going to be pretty exciting. Travis Manson is the Northeast Region Pro that helps us with our box. All the information there. And then here is the price list. If you're interested, you can pause it. I'm not going to read it out loud. Card info. Let's get to the goods. That's what we're here for. All right. First things first. We have a hidden tiny torpedo old school action uh bait here little pop bait floating action this is in a blue shiner definitely going to use this bait here um use them all the time when i was a kid uh, it's a good little bait to throw on open water uh, on spinning tackle because it is quite light um you can work it like a walk the dog or you just reel it in and that little uh, uh prop in the back is going to cause a commotion the only thing i recommend on these is changing out the hooks the hooks on these are pretty trashy but they do work and that's that right there let's see what else we got here from savage gear we have the fat vibe this is a two inch trap style bait that's a really cool pattern let's go ahead and get this bad boy opened up put that to the side that's that there if you can see it pretty cool pattern get that little perch pattern i got a couple ponds here where i fish that are loaded with these little tiny perch that the bass the smallmouth, and the largemouth uh feed up on uh it's got a nice little rattle to it pretty heavy little bait so i actually maybe i'll throw this on a you know 12 pound test fluoro uh, maybe 10 pound test fluoro to get it down in there but a uh, pretty cool pattern got really sticky hooks on it too as well so I'll definitely be using this one. I'm pretty excited. I want to see what other patterns they have in this. Because actually this is a good bait to use in ice fishing too. If you're in an area where there's a lot of muskies or pike. This bait will work out too. Because you can vertically jig it through the ice. So that's a pretty cool bait there. Next thing we got is Z-Man's uh, Sling Blade. This is a bait we would have gotten a couple uh, months ago but with the whole virus thing everything got a little out of whack um this is a 3 8 ounce uh, spinnerbait got that gold willow tape uh willow tail blade and a silver colorado got vmc hooks they call this color red perch uh, looks more like a chartreuse white to me but i love spinnerbaits not too many guys throw them anymore but I'm pretty excited about that one there too as well all right next thing we'll leave this thing to the side because it's kind of the special bait so also brandon polnick was a big inspiration in this box to as well <coughs> excuse me and we got a few x zone baits in there first one we got is the 11 inch blitz worm i cannot wait to use this worm i think i'm going to do a side project video on this worm um big 11 inch worm got a nice little curly tail um, tail to it this is going to be a great worm to hook to do uh, uh what's it called um shaky head 
You could Carolina rig this, you could Texas rig a big old worm. In the summertime, dragging a big old worm is definitely going to be killer. This color is um, red bug, which is kind of like a plum color. It's got a little black and blue flake in there. Definitely pretty excited about that one there. Um, got two more baits from Next Zone. Um, the other one we got here is a good flipping and punching bait. This is the X Zone Adrenaline blog, uh, Bug. Excuse me. That's in watermelon red flake. that bait right there Maybe it'll come through I'm not sure if you guys like this view of me doing these videos or if you like the view where you see my face I don't know you can put down in the comments which one you like below but definitely like this it's gonna be this is a, like I said watermelon red flake um definitely gonna punch this definitely killer killer bait a lot of action get a little bit of smell to it which is good and then the other bait that we got from X Zone and this is one I'm pretty excited about. And this is the Muscleback Finesse. This is a 3.25 uh, and this is the 309. Nobody knows what the 309 is. It's it's X Zone's uh, basically number one color that they sell. Um, but yeah, let's open this one up. Now this bait could be is basically universal. You could you can Texas rig it. You can swim it. You could put it on a jig. You can put it on a Ned rig. I don't know if you can see that color there, and then it turns over to blue. I'm really excited. This is I have a couple of these in the um, um, their Ned style bait, and it's phenomenal on smallmouth. And I can't wait to get this one out there. It's got nice like kicking, uh, um, kicking, uh, wow, claws on it, and I believe these float up. So if you are using like a Ned rig or Texas rig, this is going to float up. So. This is going to be a great, great, great bait to use. And I'll probably be throwing this this weekend too as well. Um, that there. We also got a sticker. Which is similar to the one we got last year. Uh, coronavirus. Got a bass with a mask on. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got a, uh, a variety pack of Daiichi uh, worm hooks. And then the feature bait that we got. Which I'm pretty excited about trying is this here the chase baits uh big wiggle bomb and i'm sorry about the glare there like i said i'm still trying to work out this whole camera thing on the angle i think i like doing them outside more than anything because i can uh get better lighting than indoors but it's been raining off and on all day today and looks like we're gonna get another storm but yeah this is the wiggle bomb this is kind of like a um uh wheelless frog but it's weighted so it actually slow sinks into water and you can basically work it like a swim bait well, what's cool is if you keep the rod tip high, you can work it like a wake bait. But if you let it fill with a little bit of water, and just slow roll it, you can drag it through snags, logs, ledges, and stuff like that. So, and this is the ice color. So I'm pretty excited about this. Chase baits, we got a bait last month's bait. Um, not too many people were too keen on it. But this one here, definitely, definitely. Looks like it's gonna be fun. It looks like it's just a, like a tadpole uh, morphing into a frog, but... Yeah, this should definitely be a good i think i'm going to use this in a lot of my clearer lakes that i fish because it's uh more of that clear water color i know they make a black one which i'm actually thinking about picking one up as well so that's the feature bait of the box but anyway guys that's the box in a nutshell we got the chase baits we got the hooks we got this all the x zone muscle back crawl the blitz worm the adrenaline bug we got that head and tiny torpedo a little savage uh, gear uh, trap the z-man uh, buzz bait and that's it guys but another quality box super excited uh, for next month's box definitely gonna get these out on the water i'm gonna throw that spinner bait for sure might even throw that tiny torpedo in the morning we'll see what happens but yeah excited to get these excellent lures out i've uh i'm kind of uh excited about these baits they uh they've been, been pretty uh impressive especially like i have the uh like i said i have some of their their baits their um um their ned baits and i have a couple of their deception worms that are working really good but anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoy please hit that subscribe button share it to your friends um hit that like button i'm trying to get to 500 um uh subscribers by the end of the year i want to do a pretty good giveaway um but yeah guys thanks for watching thank you for the support i love you guys and uh, catch you on order